the enemy is, is really opposed. Um, but I have some words for you. First of all, Donald, you are the head of this house. And so Joshua 24:15 says, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. And that is something that has become yours. That is for you. Um, I want to read the first part of Isaiah 61 because there's incredible significance for you and this relationship. And it's very interesting that um, Jesus read this when he went into the temple and it really defined his scope on what he was going to do while he was on earth. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. And I might interject, that's happening now. The Holy Spirit is here and there's a wonderful anointing mm -hmm. in this place. The Lord has blessed us and blessed you with this anointing. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me <clears throat> to bind up and heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Oh my goodness. And the opening of the prison to those who are bound. And, and there's, there's great significance in that scripture. There's great, there's, there's great like opportunities, things that are coming your way that I would encourage you to, to be responsive, to listen, to, to do what the Lord has for you. Because the Lord has some very specific things, very good things for you. And so this is a time of excitement, a, a time of just acknowledging the presence of the Lord in your life. Daily, you can use Psalms 118.24. It's a part of you. And that is today. This is a day the Lord has made. I will rejoice in it and be glad. And that is the Lord is giving you this ability to comprehend his favor, his grace on you. When even things come against you that shouldn't be, all of a sudden there's a determination in you that you know who the Lord is. You know that he's working in your behalf. And that is wonderful. It's assurance. So I bless you now with health and strength. And Donald, Ruby is a gift from the Lord to you. It's a gift. And when you think about your wife, you can say, thank you, Lord. It's just, it's, it's an incredible gift. And I encourage you to always be tender and gracious to your wife. Always. Mm -hmm. Ruby Donald is a gift to you. Mm -hmm. And part of this is understanding. Part of this is realizing what's going on when the Bible says, the two shall become one. Oh my goodness. That is so incredible. 
because we have two people with different backgrounds, different cultures, different ideas, different careers, everything's different. And all of a sudden, the Lord is creating this thing where these two will become one. Oh, and it's yeah. wonderful. It's wonderful. In the process, at times it's stretchy. At times it's like you say, yes, you know, what's going on here? That's part of it. It's part of working through these things and with love and kindness and tenderness, good things happen. Now, I, I want to bless you in two parts. And for some people, this is going to be very unusual, um, but it's okay. We started this ceremony and your dad invited the Holy Spirit, he invited the members of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit, unfortunately, in the churches in America, is pressed aside. And ministries and leaders are embarrassed about the Holy Spirit and say, oh, yeah, we want to talk about God, we want to talk about Jesus, but the Holy Spirit, no, no, push that aside. I'm telling you, that is changing. Amen. Because we are in a time, in a period of change. And that's one of the parts. All of a sudden, we in the body of Christ are beginning to understand the role and the importance of the Holy Spirit because he's the one that does the operational part for the body of Christ. And we need him, we Amen. must have him. So it's interesting, uh, the ceremony started out with Chinese and then translated into English. So it's like a bit <laughs> international. Now, for the first part of this blessing, I'm going to use my spiritual language and I'm going to declare blessings on you and that's going to splash over to everyone here. Now there's some people here that understand that, that have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit and, uh, and they comprehend it. There are others that have not. Those that have not, be calm, be patient, and enter, enjoy the presence of the Lord because He is here in His presence. And it's for everyone. So just move in and just take part of this for yourself. Okay. I know show a brand new. Kibram Burashina Kabada, Mandia Korida, Rumba or a party shop, Ori party, Ori party, Ori party for Hindabo, his psycho for Rita, his psycho for Puner Kora, he loved Ruth. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh. That wonderful anointing, oh Holy Spirit, thank you for being here. We embrace you. Oh, thank you for what's going on in this couple. And so now, Donald Ruby, I bless you. I bless you with the goodness, the favor of the Lord. May you realize that you've been touched by the Lord. 
there's something unusual going on because it's the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And so part of my blessing is to give you Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, above all, all that we, we ask or think, think according to, to the, the power that works in you. Hallelujah. I give that to you. Thank you, Jesus. Take that. Keep that. Hide it Put deep within your heart. And use it in the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 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 Thank you.